Mama Rhodes, you are gonna get a belt, but you're gonna get the Rock's belt. It ain't gonna be that you Universal Championship, it's gonna be this belt here, Mama Reigns. your son's belt here and your tears on that belt the rock is gonna whisper in your ear he's gonna wipe your tears away and he's gonna say Michelle what can I say except you're welcome there is no wrestler alive today that is on the level of the rock that is on the level of the people's champion on promos aura whatever you name it hey what's going on it's your boy miles angel back again with another video and last night the rock hollywood rock was the final boss he brought back the rock concert uh in memphis tennessee the place that he said he started his wrestling career i forgot what fucking name he was uh lenny so i don't know but um yeah man the rock made a song about the cody crybabies cody rhodes seftington rollins and a scathing promo against Cody Rhodes' mom. I think her name is Michelle. God, hey, all the love to his mama. I ain't got nothing against his mama. I'm a mama's boy. I love my mama. <laughs> he even went attacked Ja Morant last night. I mean, you can't even make this shit. I mean, The Rock, nobody can touch the fucking Rock, bro. Nobody could touch the rock. He even posted a picture of Stardust. Like to go back to Cody Rhodes, like his jobber. Like when Cody Rhodes was like a jobber, bro. Like the rock, nobody could touch him in promos. Like you hear, you know, people like Seth Rollins like talk about like how he's gonna bring all these catchphrases and all this. He ain't, what did Seth Rollins say? Like he ain't gonna be, uh, he's gonna be rehashing the same shit that he said before. You know, it's funny, Seth Rollins, the best thing you could come back to with him was Diarrhea Dwayne. This nigga talked about diarrhea to combat The Rock calling him a, cl a walking clown emoji. That's the best these fucking wrestlers can do when the fucking great one is fucking roasting your fucking hair off. You know, like these wrestlers today can't even touch The Rock, bro. I, but anyways... The Rock brought back the Rock concert last night. It was fucking epic. Um, he even touched on the fact that how Cody Rhodes came back. Like, it, after smacking the fucking taste out of the Rock's mouth last Friday, he came back and responded by crying on Monday night. Like, real life boo hooing about. Oh, my mama is the only one I have. Oh, my wife is my biggest supporter. I got to give the title to my mom. I got to give the title to my wife. I got to give the title to SpongeBob. I got to give the title to Dale Earnhardt Jr. I got to give the title to Iron Man. Like, bro, shut the fuck up. Like, dude, that's... D Cody Rhodes, like, the crying got to stop in the promos. Like, you know, if you didn't do it, every promo damn near like i've lost my dad too everybody's different i understand that but man when you're cutting a promo you don't gotta cry every damn time you cut a promo bruh you know what i'm saying like have some more seriousness in you like i probably would have felt that promo more if cody rhodes was such a fucking crier in every promo bro but this is this is who cody rhodes is and this is why the rock said this is who he's probably the reason why there's cody crybabies out here why people feel like they gotta cry crying's okay don't get me wrong but i'm saying like when you do it all the time it's like holy fuck dude but um yeah man rock nobody can touch the rock 
Nobody can touch The Rock with his promos, his aura. This dude killed, killed it in Memphis. And the Memphis crowd was just loving The Rock. Memphis crowd was just on their feet. They couldn't help but cheer The Rock. So everybody that's saying, die, Rocky, die, and all this shit. Listen to Memphis. Listen to these crowds from Utah all the way to fucking Memphis right now. Like, they're all on their feet. You can't help but take your fucking phone out and just cheer Rocky, Rocky, Rocky all night. Because that's how electrifying this man is. This man is the biggest box office person in the world. If The Rock was not here right now, this WrestleMania would be absolute garbage. I mean, it still doesn't even feel like WrestleMania season, but it'd be garbage if The Rock was on here. So, Rock saved WrestleMania. And next week, we're supposed to finally get this one-on-one. -on -one. Three weeks out from WrestleMania, we're supposed to finally get this one-on-one face-to-face with the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, and Cody Rhodes. All I got to say is that this segment better be scathing promos. It better be a fight. It better get me pumped up for this main event of Night 2 that we're, we already seen last year in the main event of Night 2 of WrestleMania 39. That's all I got to say. This, you know, this... Match doesn't even feel like a Roman Cody match or feud per se. It feels more like a Rock versus Cody Rhodes feud. You know what I'm saying? The Rock's over here talking to. I mean, he just dropped the these Instagram promos that he's dropping are fucking scathing themselves. I mean, he just. I mean, he's talking about how he's gonna make Cody blood on the belt. Like he's gonna put Cody Rhodes blood and sweat on that belt that he's gonna whoop his ass with. And hand it to his mom like it feels like a rock versus cody feud but uh, you know i i just hope next week's segment with roman and cody just is scathing it's gonna be awesome epic and get me pumped up for this match because i'm really not i'm more pumped up for this tag match because of the rock only more than this main event for Ro night two and to all these people in the wwe i seen a report today that said that there's some people that in, within the WWE that are upset with The Rock profanity or something like that. Um, I'm sorry. You're not The Rock. You're not box office. Not attacking anybody. But this is the truth. You're not The Rock. Okay. The Rock. He, 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 his promos without the cussing are already like electrifying. And you add the cussing. It makes it seem more real. People are. He's captivating. A lot of you wrestlers are not captivating. Ricochet, a lot of you guys are uh, Ivar, who Bronson Reed, like whoever you are, like you're not captivating. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not the Rock. But to all those, and I, I'm not trying to attack those rest. I'm just using them as an example. I'm not saying they're mad, they, they, but hearing Ricochet cuss at a promo, wow, it might feel weird for a second or feel crazy at a second. But he's not. You're not captivating. Like you gotta book. The, that's why these wrestlers need to be booked better you know what i'm saying i'm not saying you're gonna be on the level of the rock but you know what i'm saying like you're not the rock the rock is the biggest box office superstar celebrity whatever you want to call it in the world that's why he's able to cuss you're not the rock that's just plain and simple too bad if that ain't fair you're not the fucking rock you ain't you ain't got the social media follows you ain't in all these movies you ain't out here at these fucking celebrity functions and shit you're not the rock Nobody's going up, growing up and being like, oh, I want to be the next fucking, like, I want to be the, uh, who's a, who's a soggy ass wrestler? Oh, I want to be the next, uh, fucking Ivar. So I want to be the next fucking, like, Chad Gable or something. No, they're saying I want to be The Rock. You, I want to be The Rock. Everybody's gravitated toward The Rock. That's why The Rock is at the Oscars. He got everything, like, he was over here. He was just at the Daytona 500 for NASCAR, giving the Grand Marshal like, bro, you're not The Rock, okay? The Rock is box office. That's why he's able to cuss. That's just crazy to me that people are mad about that. But whatever, man. And to all those people that uh, are mad about The Rock cussing in his promos and they can't. And when your promos ain't even captivating like that anyway without the cussing. So to everyone that's mad that The Rock is using profanity and they can't, shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up and enjoy the ride that the people's champion, the great one, Hollywood Rock, the Brahma Bull, the ride that he is taking you on. This man literally brought back, oh, before I even end the video, this man brought back the Hollywood Rock theme song last night. That was epic as fuck. But yeah, but anyway, to those people, please shut the fuck up. And I'm just going to leave you here with this. Are you fucking kidding me 
off is the direction you can fuck. <laughs>